Hi, I'm Eddie Case, and today I'm going to answer the question, how do you build a 45 degree angle wall? Stay tuned. All right, so here's a typical outside corner display that I shot together before I turned the camera on. You can see our wall comes straight down and turns and goes on a 45 and we've got built into the corner here, the outside corner of this 45, solid blocking. And these pieces are custom cut and inserted in there and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And also how to cut your plates so that they form at the apex here a 45 degree angle because these are not 45 degree cuts on the ends of these pieces. Alright, so to build this little mock-up we have, Right over here are the pieces that I pre-cut again so that we can build it together. I've got four studs. My wall is only going to be 16 inches tall, so I just got four short studs. Your wall is going to be eight, nine feet tall, depending upon what you have in your home. I've got my top and bottom plates with the angle cut on the end, and that angle is 22 and a half, 22 and a half degrees. Back over to our model. 22 and a half plus 22 and a half when you put them together make the 45 degree angle and then we've got the special blocking right here you see there's two pieces here this was originally just a hunk of two by four that I cut a 45 degree angle on all right and then when I when I cut it uh, 45 degrees I take the, uh, the cut rip piece the smaller of the two and I just slide that right up on top of the other piece. So you end up with something that looks like a wedge. And then that wedge on our model here gets inserted right there. All right, right between this stud on the end of the wall and this stud, there's going to be a big void in the middle. And that's where you're going to insert this piece right here. The little rip on top, okay, forms like a, a triangle. But well, that triangle gets inserted right in there, okay? right at the apex. Now there's only two cuts that you're going to have to make on this project. The, the 22 and a half degree angle in the end of your 2 by 4 studs. And to do that, we just come right over here to our miter saw. We set the miter saw to 22 and a half. We take a chunk of 2 by 4, our, our stud, we stick it in the saw, and we go ahead and we just cut 22 and a half. Twenty-two and a half degree angle. The other cut that we're going to have to make is a forty-five degree cut, and that's going to be the one we cut down through our, our stud. That's going to be our apex stud, all right? And we have to cut a forty-five degree angle on that, all right? And to cut that, we use a regular circular saw. This is a Dewalt seven and a quarter inch saw. I've got it set on a forty-five degree angle, but you set it on the side of the saw, set it for a forty-five degree angle and then run your saw down through the piece. This is how my wood was set up when I cut this, and you can see I followed this edge the whole way down, and what fell out of the side was this piece here. All right, so what you want to do is you want to be riding your blade right down this end of the 2 by 4 I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And there you can see we've got our, our two pieces, all right? The same two I showed you at the beginning. So take your, take your little rip off the end, one you just cut, the 45, and just flip it up top. And you can see how the very end of this piece here kind of just fits perfectly over top of the other piece. Amazing, right? All right, let's take this over to the saw horse and build this wall. Okay, so you have all your wall studs cut. You have your top and bottom plates cut to length, the way that you have it laid out on your floor, which everybody's walls are going to be longer and shorter. So I really can't tell you how long to cut the, the, uh, the plates, but you are still going to have the 22 and a half degree angle on both sides of the 45 degree angle. Those two 22 and a half degree angles together are going to form the 45. So put them down like they're on the floor, match them up, now we've got a 45 degree angle right here. Now, I've got my little carpenter square here, speed square here. I'm going to show you where to place the studs at the apex so you don't mess this up, all right? 
put your square on there and come to the short point, short point, long point. Come to the short point, slide your, slide your square up to the short point, like that, and draw a line across the two by four, and mark your stud with an X inward, not out towards the point. You don't wanna put it on this side of the line. Mark it inward. Do that to the other side. Draw your line across the stud, mark your X inward. Put them together. Set your studs on the lines. Just like that. Now, this is the outside corner. But look right here. There's nothing to nail the drywall to right at the apex, right at the, the furthest outside part of that 45 degree angle. So that's where that piece comes in. That piece that we made out of the rip. All right, where we flip the piece up on top here. All right, that funky wedge looking piece. That is going to go right in here, just like this. Ta-da! Now you've got solid meat coming down and around your wall, okay? And you, all you do now is just maybe every foot or so coming up the wall, just shoot, a, shoot a, uh, a nail in about every foot going up and that'll pin that piece right in the middle, nice. All right, now you don't put this in, you don't put this block in the middle until you actually build your walls. So what I normally do is just build my walls on the floor Fasten everything together. Do something like that. All right, so your walls will be 100% built. Shot to the, the floor, if you're in a basement, the bottom plate will be treated, it'll be shot to the concrete, the top plate will be shot to the floor joist. Then you'll back and you'll insert your wedge piece. All right, the wedge piece will go in there like that. Okay, one other thing that I like to do before I insert my apex stud into the uh, into the corner, after I, after I have it all ripped and ready to go, um, rather than put it into the corner in two pieces, I like to uh, fasten this small fragile piece to the bigger piece with a pin gun. Okay, I have a little finish gun here, a little brad gun. I have inch and a half uh, brad nails in this gun. I'm just going to tack this piece to the other piece, set it in there, uh, so it stays symmetrical, and that'll keep it. That's that's all you're going to need once you get it into the wall. That'll hold it. Plus, I'm going to be nailing through the sides of the uh, of the two studs on each side of the apex as well. But this helps knit that little piece to the bigger block. So I use a little pin gun. I'll just put like three in there. And what that does, that just makes this into a solid. Nice piece here. I don't have two little pieces flopping around. And then I can insert it into the corner in one nice big piece. And there you have it. So that's it. That's how easy it is to build a 45 degree wall, not rocket science. I'm Eddie Case. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm going to try to put out a video every week to help you guys with your basement projects, your kitchens, your bathrooms, whatever. I'll try to make it interesting and I'll try to make it a tidbit that you can actually use to help you get through your project. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.